be ready five seconds start sir i would suggest for the consideration of the house and this is what we have been attempting to do in our science and technology plan also we should have plan of developmental act application of rural technology only a few days back a few friends from the bangalore institute of science came to see me they said that they had formed a team a team of scientists at the highest level who are teaching in that institute they said they decided to go to a village about 70 miles away from bengaluru and settle down there and then identify the problems there trying to find out how science and technology could be applied for the purpose of removing backwardness there for the purpose of improving the productivity for the purpose of bringing about a better environment there they have had some short term experience in functioning in the village they told me that they were encouraged very much not only by the results which are coming out of their experiment but by the response from the scientific community it is obvious from this perhaps that each high level scientific technological or technical institution should be asked to take over a specific area and concentrate their efforts there to find out how science and technology could be applied for the purpose of better development of that area and to increase the productivity therefore it is only science and technology which could provide the answer to remove this backwardness and it is on the basis of this alone that we would be able to tackle many of the problems with which we are confronted whether it is unemployment or the removal of poverty particularly in the rural areas so this is the answer for that the honorable members talked about rural indebtedness rural indebtedness is also due to the feudal traditions which have been allowing bonded labor and other things all these will have to go and it is not merely this indebtedness but also the exploitation of the rural poor by the private money lenders which has to go my friend pointed out this thing as far bihar is concerned it is a coal mine area i recently went through a report this person knew something about what was happening there how the coal miners were being exploited by a set of organized money lenders and other anti social elements you talk about protecting the labor and protecting the poor but you have gone there have you tried to organize and see that these mal practices are removed therefore there is no use blaming others if we do not have done anything about it and to that extent we also contribute to the deterioration of the situation there therefore it is a challenge to all of us there is no use of throwing blame on somebody if the private money lender is going to lead to this sort of exploitation of rural poor and even of the industrial labor then we have got to sit down and think about it how to abolish it how to eradicate this practice when we talk in terms of removing rural indebtedness it is not by moratorium of course this is a part of it but it cannot stop there we have to proceed further you should have organizations to cater to the needs of these people they are also they want to continue in the same old tradition how do these people get indebted they get indebted because they want to imitate the rich in performing their marriages they want to have the same funeral ceremonies they want to have the same birth ceremonies and therefore some of their indebtedness starts 
विद दिस वेस्टफुल एक्सपेंडिचर देयर फोर द सोशल कस्टम्स इज ए थिंग विच स्टैंड इन दी वे बट फॉर द सोशल कस्टम हु सेट्स द पैटर्न इट इज द रिच पीपल इवन द एजुकेटेड पीपल हु सेट द पैटर्न देयर फोर इफ वी वॉन्ट टू रिमूव द रूरल इंडेटनेस एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिमूव द रूट कॉज फॉर दिस देन ऑल ऑफ अस विल हैव टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू दिस एंड सेट एन एग्जाम्पल टू द पुअर बिकॉज दे वुड लुक रिस्पेक्टेबल ओनली वैन दे परफॉर्म द मैरिज इन ए सर्टेन स्टाइल बिकॉज वी आर डूइंग द सेम वैन वी टॉक अबाउट द रूरल इंडेटनेस let us not attack the rural indebtedness in isolation unless we attack the social customs which lead to the wasteful expenditure even this rural indebtedness cannot be tackled in an effective way so it has to be looked at as a whole and not in isolation we should look at it from the point of view it is the educated group the richer section of the people who spoil the poorer sections by their own wasteful expenditure i am coming to dori when we talk about it in the international year for women we are thinking of liberating the women can we liberate them from the dori system who are the worst sinners in this dori system today